It's AG Lover 639 and this is how to make an American Girl Room. So it can include two beds or you can make it one bed and a bedside table and you will need two American Girl boxes. See, two like or bitty baby size but the bigger size the like ones that are the bigger size of boxes. First I'm going to be showing you how to do the one that sages. Okay so with the one that sages in you will need something like a mattress. What I'm doing is I'm using six of these because I don't have a mattress for my grandma crocheted when their blankets folded up. So and you will also need something on the top like a sheet so I am using this blanket towel thing. So anyways, first what you're going to do is you're going to set your mattress in. And with what I'm doing is it is three long and I'm doing two of those. So like that. And... Then you will need your mattress cover thingy. So I'm using this purple thing as I said before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it in so it will fit like that. There. Now what you're going to do is you're going to need some kind of pillow. I'm using one of these. I made it stay with a big rubber band and then I just put those all together then you put it right there and then for the blanket you will need some kind of blanket and you just drape it over like that and the side of the box that you'll need is the top Part, though you can also do the bottom part though I decorated this because this is my American Girl duct tape room and then you just can set them in and they can sleep so that is how to make the one where it is this way now I'm going to explain to you how to make the one that McKenna is in so this is how to do the one that McKenna's in. So anyways, it is the box where it's like this. And you can also have it as a bed like this if you want. See, you can have it like a bed like that. And you could put a mattress in there. And what I did was I trimmed that edge. So you can like put stuff under the bed. And so anyways, you can put a mattress or like how I did with Sage's bed though so what I'm doing right now I'm just putting a blanket on and then this pillow I made out of two blankets so anyways what I did with the box is I cut it right there on both sides and then I covered it with duct tape so that's how it looks like that and again, you can do it like that on the inside. And you could like put a mattress, like if put a couple of those, that would look real cute. And you could even like somehow use both of them and make them like attach the beds. So, anyways, that's how to make. McKenna's bed that I made, the bed that McKenna's in, and now I'm going to show you how to do that bedside table. So anyways, this is how to make the bedside table. So anyways, what I did was, with the box, you're going to have to take that right there, off that one, and then just kind of leave that alone. Take the other box and tape the side to that, and then I taped the outside. 
and then you're going to take that part up and then you can tape that part so it's all like that so basically I just taped them together and covered it outside and it makes a nice bedside table like that and now I can show you how to arrange it in the doll room so anyways I just put the bedside table right there because I'm going to have two beds and then Sage's bed over here I'm putting it on one side and then I'm putting my kennas on there and she's not currently sleeping so yeah so and then you could like add a rug right here and over to the side of Sage, I put meatloaf that I got for Christmas. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And under that bed where you cut it on the sides, you can like store stuff that they want to store in there like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a doll room. And thanks for watching. Bye!